Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we will be making a login screen. So, first things first, we can just make the variables needed to make the app. So, first we can just, uh, well, not app, login screen, you know. Uh, so, first we can create a state private variable called username, and that will be equal to nothing. Now, states, oh, and you can do the same thing for the password. Um, now we can do a state variable for the popover that will show up um, when you are successfully logged in. So that is all we need to do for the variables. Um, now we can do, uh, below this V stack, we can do preferred color scheme, color scheme dot dark. And now up here in the V stack, we can do a uh, text field. This will be for the username. And then we can do a dollar sign username. Then we can copy this and do the same for our password. But this is gonna be a secure field since it's a password. And now we can change this to password and this to password. So there it is, uh, there's a username, and then there's our password. But now we got to make it actually work, and we're also just going to make it look a little bit better. So first we can give this a background of color dots black with an opacity of 0.6. Alright, now we can copy that. And paste it there. Now we can just give this some padding. 16. Same here. And now we can give it a... Let's do... No, I don't know why I typed in corner radius. Shadow. Um, color dot gray. And then the radius can be 3. X, 0, Y, 0. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now we can do the same for this. Uh, now up here we can just do text login. Oh yeah, I'm just going to make this uppercase. And I'm also going to give it a, yeah, I'm actually just going to keep customizing it. Let's give it a font of caption, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Now, uh, we can paste that right there. And uh, I think that is pretty good. So... Um, now let's just customize the title real quick, and then we can get into the logic and what it will actually let it, like, you know, be a, be a login screen. So let's just give it a font, size 50. Um, let's also give it a design of dot serif. We can also make it bold. Um, so, now we can just make a submit button, or login button, you know. So we can do button, action label. Now right inside of the label we can just do text submit, or why do we keep text submit, login. Um, I'm just gonna... Let's just take away the background and shadow. Actually, everything. We can just give it a foreground color of white. And just make it bold. I think that looks good enough. Um, so, now we just gotta do some if statements. A lot of if statements. So, you can make your password and username. I'll just make the... So, 
if username if username is equal to um let's just say bobby123 then um and so you can do and password is equal to um abc123 then pop over is equal to true and let's make this have pop over the pop over now right here do that oh. is presented and then we can do dollar sign pop over and now inside of the content we can do text hello at and then we can do an interpolated string of username let's just give it an exclamation so the username is right here and we can also do um dot uppercase and dot uppercase so so now we can do bobby one two three and if this doesn't work you're gonna have to do it not capitalized uh abc one two three log in yes it's not gonna work yeah um yeah we don't need to do uppercase so bobby one two three right here and then abc one two three here so here it is you know the popover comes up hello at bobby123 and you can change that um but if you guys enjoyed please make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on another video